Hey guys, so a question that I actually get often when I'm telling people about my nutritarian lifestyle is, but how can you make a salad dressing without oil? It's a great question, it actually has a really simple answer. Let me explain. So let's just think about it for a second. The oil that you use in your salad dressing, it comes from a plant originally, right? So canola oil comes from the seeds of the canola plant. Vegetable oil comes from nuts and seeds of soybeans, corn, sunflower, safflower, walnut oil, almond oil, olive oil, of course, comes from pressing olives and so on. Also keep in mind that many of these oils were practically non-existent in our diets until the early 1900s, when new chemical processes allowed um, them to be extracted from the plants. As a nutritarian, we try to eat zero processed foods. We eat as many whole foods in their natural state as possible. Since oil is extracted from a plant in the first place, we simply eat the entire plant as a salad dressing ingredient instead of extracting the oil out. An example of this is my favorite dressing, the lemon tahini dressing. I eat this all the time. I make the salad dressing by using tahini, um, you've probably heard of tahini before, but maybe you don't know what it is. It's just sesame seeds that are totally ground up into um, like a liquid paste kind of a thing, used a lot in Mediterranean cooking. So I get all the oil that I need from these seeds. In fact, you might have actually seen natural peanut butter before. They grind up the peanuts, and if you don't refrigerate it, it tends to separate from the peanuts, the oil. So you'll see a lot of the oil on top, and you just have to mix it up and use it that way. It's the same thing with sesame seeds, but see, there's so much oil in there already that you can just mix it in, and you get plenty of oil in your dressing. I get all the oil I need from those seeds, as well as all the fiber and the micronutrients that are present in the original sesame seeds. Compare that to just straight sesame oil or olive oil, and you miss out on many of the plant benefits, such as the fiber, the vitamins, the minerals, the antioxidants, and the sterols and stanols, etc. Really good stuff you're missing out on. In this nutritarian lifestyle, we prefer to eat the entire plant food whole, rather than the processed, broken down version of it. And in this way, we get so much more than the empty calorie oil. As a nutritarian, you can make a gazillion, yes, I counted a gazillion different types of rich creamy dressings that rival any oil-based ones. Some ingredients that make fantastic creamy bases when you blend them are like cashews, pine nuts, tahini like we talked about, hemp seeds, sunflower seeds, almonds, walnuts, pecans. I mean come on like this list goes on and on and on. So then you can blend them with like whole fruits or even dried fruits, herbs, spices, vegetables, vinegars, um, juices. So I'm, I hope you're starting to see that like the combinations for dressings, these flavor combinations, they're literally endless. So my two favorites right now are lemon tahini dressing, which you see me using a lot in my on my Instagram channel, for instance. That's basically just um, tahini, which you can get store-bought lemon juice, and then nutritional yeast for a little savory flavor. And then I also really love the walnut vinaigrette dressing, which is just basically walnuts, raisins, balsamic vinegar, and some non-dairy milk. And you can add some mustard to it too. Oh, the flavor is so good. What's important to note is the nutrition that's present in the original nuts and seeds that form the basis of these dressings. So just one example, which I mentioned before, are plant sterols. Those are so important. It's basically the plant version of cholesterol. So I'm going to read you a little thing from Dr. Furman's website, which explains what this is. So the plant cell membranes contain the plant sterols, and animal cell membranes contain cholesterol. We produce cholesterol in the liver and consume some in animal-based foods. Plant sterols are naturally present in plant foods and structurally similar to cholesterol, and they serve similar functions in plant cell membranes to those of cholesterol in animal cell membranes. Plant sterols, also known as phytosterols, naturally occur in a range of plant sources um, like vegetables, beans, grains, seeds, and nuts. The richest whole food sources of plant sterols are pistachio nuts, Mediterranean pine nuts, and sunflower seeds, followed by cashews, split peas, kidney beans, almonds, and other nuts. When we consume the plant sterols, these substances appear similar to cholesterol to the cells lining the small intestines, which allows them to bind to the sites on those cells that cholesterol would bind to in order to be absorbed. This is one way plant sterols block the absorption of cholesterol from food and the reabsorption of cholesterol produced by the liver. More than 40 human trials have collectively shown that plant sterols supplements can safely reduce LDL levels by up to 15%.
So you can see that if you remove the nutrition from these whole foods, you remove the disease-protecting components of them as well. There's many other studies that have shown benefits to plant sterols and the other amazing plant chemicals that are found in plants. So this is why it's always better to eat the whole foods rather than the processed versions. So never again do you have to choose to be stuck with the plain old oil and vinegar again, or even worse, one of those dairy MSG or salt-filled dressings that you find at the salad bars. They really are salt bombs. So choose a healthy nutritarian dressing and up your nutrition to the maximum. There's plenty of examples online. Give them a try. They take a little bit of getting used to compared to other dressings that you might be used to, but they're well worth making the switch. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you liked this video and it gave you some insight about how we do things in the nutritarian world. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, um, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can always get the new videos as soon as I publish them. Let me know down below what is your favorite dressing or if you've tried nutritarian dressing, dressings, let's share down below what our favorite dressings are. I've told you mine are lemon tahini and the walnut vinaigrette. What's your favorite? Thank you so much for watching as always. See you tomorrow. Bye!